What's going on YouTube? Jeans here. Hope you guys are having an amazing day today. We are back yet again, bringing you guys some more competitive ranked double battles for Pokemon Scarlet and Pokemon Violet. In today's video, we're going to be showcasing a top tier team for Series 2 to help you guys push the highest rank before the series actually ends. You guys already know the deal. If you do enjoy the content in time, make sure you support me as a content creator by leaving a like on today's video. And if you're not subscribed to the channel, click that big red subscribe button so you know when all of my videos go live. But like I said, Series 2 is ending soon in about a week. So this team right here is where it's at. I tried it out on the rank ladder. I went 2-0 and when I was warming up with it, and I absolutely loved it. You got some strong Pokemon on it like Pelipper and Pal. Dolphin, Dragonite, Baxcalibur, even Iron Hands and Amoongus. I'm telling you guys, this team is where it's at. But Iron Hands is going to be our first Pokemon for today's team preview that we're going to go over. It has Quirk Drive and the Assault Vest as item. Rocking out with Fake Out, Close Combat, Wild Charge, and Volt Switch. Loving this moveset for this Iron Hands. Amoongus is going to be our second Pokemon, and everybody knows what Amoongus is good for. Putting Pokemon to sleep. Not really, but kind of a little bit but it's good for support side and it's good in trick room this one has regenerator and citrus berry rock and spore rage powder pollen puff and protect third pokemon is going to be my main man paloops over here love pelipper absolutely love this pokemon it's really good at weather control and it's actually pretty good at uh hitting hard too on the special attacking side especially with this move set right here it's got hurricane and it's got hydro pump two heavy hitting stand moves it also has tailwind for speed control protect for its final move drizzle and the focus sash as its item Palafin's going to be our fourth Pokemon, and everybody knows the power of this Pokemon right here. This is one of my favorite Gen 9 Pokemon because it's an adorable little dolphin, and then it transforms into a crazy strong giant hero fish, right? Is, is that what it is, right? A hero fish? That's got to be what's it. But this one has the Mystic Water as item, Jet Punch, Wave Crash, Haze to actually uh, counter Dondozo teams and any Pokemon that is just greatly stat boosted like Bulk Up's Rule Edge, and then last but not least, we have Protect. Baxcalibur is going to be our fifth Pokemon, and Baxcalibur has been so strong in the meta as recently. As of recently. It has Thermal Exchange, the Dragon Fang to boost Dragon Damage, and it has Glaive Rush, which is its stab signature move, Ice Shard for first turn priority, Icicle Crash for another heavy hitting stab move, and Protect for its final move. We got Dragonite as our last Pokemon with Multi Scale and the Lumberry, then it's got E Speed, Terror Blast, which will switch to Flying if we Terrestrialize, and then Ice Spinner taking out Terrains, and Protect for our final move. Guys, you want to rent this team for yourself? Let's code is at the top right hand corner, but let's get after it. Let's hop on that ranked double ladder. Let's grab some wins with this top tier series two team. First match coming at you guys, going up against a Trick Room team right here. They got a Rankaroo, Hariyama, regular Hariyama, so it's not even Iron Hands with Fake Out. Then they got Torkoal, King Gambit, Skull Villain, and Annihilate. We definitely want to bring in Amoongus here just in case Trick Room is the, is the problem, which I think they're going to go into, right? Trick Room is definitely an option. We can also go into Iron Hands for a lead. And Iron Hands can be solid in Trick Room as well. But it's very slow. 75. I like it. And the best part about this speed is it's going to probably outspeed their Pokemon before they can set up Trick Room. So maybe we could just pick up a KO. Definitely we got some possibilities. I could go into Palafin and Pelipper. That's not too bad here. I kind of want to lead Palafin. Maybe Flip Turn out. Right? We got Flip Turn, correct? Do you have Flip Turn? You do not have Flip Turn. A little weird. We might just hard swap you then. Might just do a little bit of hard swap and just allow them to set up Trick Room. Baxi, what's your speed? 115, but a lot of first turn priority moves, which I really like. I definitely really like. We could go into Pelipper. I think we need Pelipper, right? I think we need Pelipper. And then last but not least, oh, we need Amoongus too. We're going to go Amoongus. We're just going to go in with this top half. No Dragon Pokemon. The Dragon guys are chilling back this time. The Dragon guys are just not here. They're just not here. Even though, as much as I want to use them, I just feel like going up against this Trick Room team, kind of need Pokemon like Pelipper and Amoongus, so definitely want them. So the heavy lifting is going to have to come from my Iron Hands and my Palafin. We probably put some Pokemon to sleep, but like I said, Pelipper can hit hard on the special attack inside. Especially in the rain. Rain Hydro Pump. Woo! You get some crazy things going. But Annihilate's going to come out here. Lovely to Annihilate, and I think we might just hard swap Palafin, or I could protect Palafin. We definitely want to fake out. Definitely want to fake out a Rangaroo. Then hard swapping you into like a Moogus. A Moogus should be able to eat up. Right? I think a Moogus should. Mm. What is our play here? A Moogus should be able to eat up a Gambit, right? It's going to be close. I think Gambit goes through Sash, though. We're going to swap it to a Moogus here. We are swapping into a Moongus. If you want a Final Gambit, my Iron Hands, that's fine. Iron Hands could definitely eat up a Final Gambit. But I think its HP is somewhere around like 220, right? So we hit that thing, get them off the nice big fake out, and he's going to Gambit into my Iron Hands. 
totally fine. Yes, we were able to eat that up. So big time eat up from us. We flinched the Rangaroo unless it's Covert Cloak. And it is Covert Cloak. Lovely. Unless it has an ability that it can't be faked out. But still, that's fine. We have Amoongus out here. We have Amoongus ready to go. So let's see what its next Pokemon is. If it is Torkoal, we'll hard swap into... uh. Oh, it's going to be Hariyama. I was going to say, if it is Torkoal, we will hard swap into uh, Pelipper. But from here, I feel like we just try to get off a of Volt Switch, right? I think we just try to get off a of Volt Switch, and we try putting this thing to sleep, right? Or I could Palm Puff. What's your speed, Amoongus? That'd be a slow little booger, right? 35. Are you slower than a Rangaroo? You could possibly be slower than a Rangaroo, because I'm thinking of doing this. Oh, what I do... Alright, that's fine. I was going to say, what's my Hariyama doing? We're Volt Switching with him, and he's going to yawn me. So he's going to fake me out, he's going to put me to sleep. That's fine. I am going to be able to get off a of Volt Switch, which is big for later usage. So I get back my Fake Out. So we Volt Switch out. I can bring back out Palafin if I want to. And I, at that point, I can hard swap my... Uh, I could hard swap my Amoongus so it doesn't go to sleep. Into, into Palafin to gr grant some weather control. Kind of with that. I'm kind of with that. The burn comes out of here. I really want to spore Hariyama before its guts came out. But I mean, we could deal with that. But I could try slicing the water if I wanted. Do I use my Terra? Or do I save it for a Pokemon? So the problem obviously is going to be... It's obviously going to be... That Hariyama. I might Terrasilize and try to hit that Hariyama hard. That's exactly what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna Terrasilize, I'm gonna try to hit that Hariyama hard, or I can go after a Rangaroo. I'm gonna go after a Rangaroo, and again, I'm just gonna hard swap into my Pelipper. I'm gonna get some weather control. I think he does have Torkoal in the back end, and I'm thinking I'm just hard swapping Pelipper yet again after this. This one's gonna be close. This is gonna be a close battle. It's tough. It's a tough one for us, especially with Trick Room out and about. Let's see what our opponent ends up doing. We're Terrasilize. Straight water. I'm trying to get off as much damage as I possibly can. The Palafin out and about. Trick Room is here. Um, I could start protecting the waste out some turns. We'll see how this one plays. Because Hariyama's going to hit like a truck, right? With guts and all that good stuff. Jet Punch flying through here. Stab, Terrasilization in the rain. Oh, come on with that. That ain't right. That ain't right. Now, Close Combat probably kills me, right? We survived that. We like that. Defense is dropping. That's big time for us. And what are you going for, Rangaroo? Instruct, of course. Of course you are. Okay, so that thing's special defense is down. I think it's defense in general is down. You get a double close combat. That's annoying. <laughs> That's so annoying because a Rangaroo should be dead. A Rangaroo should be dead. Of course, it lives on one. Um, I feel like from here, we could fake out for the KO. We do have Focus Ash on our Pelipper. And I really wonder what they're doing. He might hard swap Hariyama here. That would be the play, right? To hard swap Hariyama. Hmm. Definitely want to go into Iron Hands here. Or I can go back into Amoongus. Could definitely go back into Amoongus. But I'm going to save my Amoongus for the swap. If we need it. So I'm going to need something to swap my Pelipper into. So Iron Hands comes back out here. We're trying to waste out Trick Room. Fake out 100% the play here. Fake out, and I'm going for the Hydro Pump, right? I'm going for the Hydro Pump in this slot. If he swaps it in Torkoal, he swaps it in Torkoal. It's not that big of a deal, because we still can land his Hydro Pump and get off a decent amount of damage. But I just think this is the play. I really do think this is the play. Because if he doesn't swap into Torkoal, we have a high chance of taking out both these Pokemon this turn. That's if no protects come out here. He decides to swap Orangaroo. That's really weird. Orangaroo with the swap instead of... Oh, Gambit comes out here. Gambit comes out there. Okay. So, no Torkoal. We like that. Can I land this Hydro Pump? Can I land this Hydro Pump? Knockoff comes out here, and it's going to take off my Focus Sash. We're able to eat, though. Which is good. Can we land this, please? Let's go, Pelper. This, I'm thinking, should KO, right? Yeah, get it on out of here. It's minus two on the defensive side. We still have a Moongus in the back end. Can Trick Room end soon? Actually, I think Gambit works wonders here. Unless a Rangaroo has no attacking moves. I haven't seen it hit me yet. I haven't seen it hit me yet. How many turns is left in all this? So I would love to land a close combat here. They still have Terra, don't they? They do still have Terra. We have Amoongus, though. 
Let's see how many turns are left in turn. 1.5. I could... Oh, no. Not 1.5. 1 out of 5. I could swap Iron Hands because the Sucker Punch could come out here. I'm going to swap... I'm going to swap Iron Hands. I'm going to swap Iron Hands. Get that fake out back here. And I'm going to go for the Hydro Pump land in the Gambit. That's my play all day. I think the Sucker Punch is coming out here. It could be. It could not be. We're going to swap into the Moogus. We could see a Terrasalization here as well. Yep, there's finally it's Terra. This match is so close. It's ridiculous. This Trick Room ends. Trick Room ends right here right now. Are you sucker punching into Pelipper? That would be a good call here as well. I think you're sucker punching into the Iron Hand side. So he ends up terrasalizing the straight dark. Kowtow Cleave comes out of here. That's gotta be into the Amoogus slot, right? It is into Amoogus. Amoogus is able to eat. Are you instructing? We do have Citrus Berry. The thing is, if you instruct here. Into Amoogus, that's fine. That is fine. We just need to land this Hydro Pump. We just need this this pump to land. We just need this pump to land. So that swap was huge. Because if he would have instructed, that would have been a double KO. So that swap using Amoogus just for bait for the KO was huge for us. We need to land this Hydro Pump, though. This pump needs to come out here. Let's go, Paloops. My dog, Paloops. Coming in high here. That's some big time damage. So everything's back to normal. We got Iron Hands out here. Hurricane lands 100% of the time. It can KO that Gambit. And we outspeed that Gambit. Unless Sucker Punch comes through here. So what I'm thinking here is actually just fake out the Gambit. And since we outspeed, we just drop a Hurricane and take out a Ranguru. And then he has no, no double hitting moves. That's actually the better play. That's actually the better play. It's to fake out the Gambit instead of faking out the Ranguru. So I was just going to fake out the Ranguru for a KO. But if he would have went for a Sucker Punch there, it would have KO'd one of my Pokemon, and then he could have Sucker Punched again and KO'd my next Pokemon. But now, he has no double hitting moves, and it's a 2v1. That was a great call from us. Great, great call from us. We're going to close combat in here. We're going to Hurricane because that lands 100% of the time, and that should be GG's. Yo, what a first match. What a first match. Hopefully, you guys did enjoy that one. That's a double on our end. Second match coming at you guys, and that first match was for you guys. That was absolutely an amazing match. We played super well there. Swapping out, making good protects, all that good stuff, and just playing that trick room down to the wire. Down to the wire. The best play was definitely the swap on a move, because that won us the game, and then faking out the uh, Gambit instead of the Ranguru was big for us, too. But hey, we're 1 0. Let's go back to back here, going up against a Talonflame, Delibird, and Fluttermane team. Alongside Brute Bonnet, Great Tusk, and Max Caliber. So they're stacked. They're definitely stacked. There's no sugarcoating either. This team is stacked. We might want to go in the Pelper for a lead, set them rain, and kind of get after it that way. That's not too bad because uh, we can tail one with that and uh, take some speed. So I did like that. I do like that. I did like Iron Hands here as well for fake out purposes. And then I also like the dragons. Dragons are not bad here either. So I could go Pelper and... And what's it called here? Wouldn't be bad. Pelper and Palafin. And then... Or I could lead Iron Hands in Palafin. But I'd rather set up Tailwind, right? I'd definitely rather set up Tailwind. So I'm going to go them too. I am going to end up bringing Iron Hands, and then one of the dragons got to come in here. They both have first turn priority moves. This one has Flying Terror. This one has Poison Terror. I kind of like Baxi, right? I kind of like Bax Calibur. Yeah, I'm going to go Bax Calibur. I really do like Bax Calibur here. But still, you got the first turn priority with the Ice Shard. It is Stab. It's super effective onto a few of their Pokemon, so I'm all about the Bax Calibur. But let's go back to back here. Let's go back to back. My hat's puffing up a little bit. I kind of want to knock it down so it's not like above the green screen because the green screen height is like, see my fingers? It's like right there. <laughs> so my hat's my hat's playing playing the games with it. It's right at the line. Let's see where opponent leads. Is it going to be Deli Deli Bird? Oh, of course it's going to be Deli Deli Bird. And on top of it, it's a lovely little Pokemon. I could Jet Punch. I could Jet Punch. I could Hard Swap here as well. Rain definitely helps him out. I don't like that one bit. Uh... He might KO my Pelipper, right? Can I, can I, should I just protect my Pelipper? I can just protect my Pelipper and go into you. Even though the fairy moves are scary, but we do have that lovely... We do have that lovely uh, Assault Vest, so I'm not afraid to kind of just swap this Pokemon in there. I really want to set up a Tailwind, but just say he goes for like a, a Freeze Try and a, uh, a Gleam, we're dead. We're dead all day. So I'd rather get off a Fake Out turn and then set up a Tailwind. It'll just be big for us. So I'm going to swap the Palafin. Protect the Pelipper. 
And we'll see what our opponent wants to do here. There's the freeze dry. That's it. That, that was what I was talking about. And then I think Gleam's gonna come in here. Maybe he'll double down with a Moon Blast. It's gotta be Gleam, right? Moon Blast goes in this slot. That did a lot more damage than I thought it would do. Assault Vest definitely helping, helping us out. But now we could fake out and set up a Tailwind if we want to. Tailwind, I could Terrasize if I want to. I could just hard swap. Mm, no. Let Iron Hands drop. It's not that big of a deal. I guess I'll just fake out the Delibird. Even though Delibird's gonna protect, right? Yeah, I saw that coming. I could have Terrasize and just ripped into that uh Fluttermane, which probably should have been the play, right? Probably should have been the play, but Tailwind's gonna it's gonna drastically help us out here. The Moon Blast comes in hot. Iron Hands dead. That's fine. That is fine. Totally fine. Totally fine. Tailwind out of back. So now I can get out Baxcalibur. I don't think Baxcalibur's gonna be bad with the poison typing. Or I can go back into Palafin. But then Freeze Dry does me dirty. We don't like that. Uh, ch -ch -ch. We're gonna go into Baxi here. We're gonna go into Baxi. I'm gonna. I'm gonna Terrasalize. And I'm just gonna Hurricane in this slot. I'm gonna Hurricane in this slot. And I'm just gonna Terrasalize and go for an Icer Crash. Actually, I really like this clay brush. Actually, no, we can't clay brush. We're just gonna go into an ISO crash. Even though it's actually just a little bit lower, I have faith in Baxi to land it. I have faith in Baxi to land it. So Terrasalize coming out here. First turn was tough for us. It definitely was. They just had strong Pokemon that were just countering us. So now we're in the back end trying to trying to recover here. We're trying to recover. And I feel like if we can get rid of both these Pokemon, it wouldn't be bad. We do have Tailwind up, but I, I think one of them still is gonna outspeed us, right? Yeah, it's gonna be you. Of course you outspeed us. So fast. Can we outspeed the Fluttermane? Please and thank you. Because we have Focus Ash and I would love to get off a of Hurricane and stuff like that. Beautiful. So Pelper outspeeds. Hurricane comes out here. Give me the Ducks. Big time damage. No Ducks. Icicle Crash coming in hot here. And that wasn't even Sash. That wasn't even Sash. Moon Blast comes out here. And we have to Ice Shard the. Uh... Yeah, okay. This is fine. So since I have Tailwind and I outspeed Fluttermane, I can Ice Shard for first turn priority, take out the Deli Bird. And then I get rid of the with Hurricane. I don't mind that. I don't mind that. So Ice Shard flying out here. Like I said, Backscalibur with the Poison type was going to come up clutch. And stuff be doing some work right now. So we get rid of you. Hurricane also flies here. We get rid of you. That's the best part about Hurricane. 100% of the time in the rain it hits, you don't got to worry about missing attacks. Love it. I love it so much. That's a solid turn from us. We still have Palafin in the back end. So if we can get like a rain turn out there with him, Jet Punch is going to do some big time damage. So he goes into Bax Caliber of its own. I have speed. I can Glaive Rush that if I want to. But I think he does Stress Lies, right? And I definitely got a Hurricane that. Oh, 100% got a Hurricane that. Hurricane coming in hot there. And do I Glaive Rush? Do I Glaive Rush? I feel like I have to, right? I feel like I have to. Even though I think he's going to Thrash Lies. I feel like I, I have to just make the simple play. I feel like I have to make some simple plays here. Because either he's Thrash Lies in one of them, right? If he terrestrializes the Brute Bonnet, then the Glaive Rush is going to take out the Max Caliber. If he terrestrializes the Max Caliber, then Hurricane's going to do some massive damage onto the Brute Bonnet. So I kind of, I really like where we're sitting here. No, you just sucker punch with that, and you don't terrestrialize. You don't terrestrialize, that's fine. As long as this thing's not Sash. We might be able to lock this game up. Because that takes you out, and yeah. Now I'm just going to simply, uh, do I Ice Shard? I think we just uh, go for the Icicle Spear. And now I get to bring out my boy. And Brute Bonnet might be faster at this point, right? Brute Bonnet's a little scary. But Palfin's going to come out here. I Should I Ice Shard or Icicle Crash? Palfin's coming out here. And I don't know if he is even going to Terrasalize, right? He might not even Terrasalize. I'm going to go for the Icicle Crash here. Straight for the Icicle Crash here. He's just going to protect me. He's going to feel me out. I think he's going to feel out what moves I want to use here. Which is fine. I, w I wonder what typing you are going to go into. Because if you change off of grass, then Palafin can do some big time damage. But if you stay on the grass, then Baxcalibur is doing some big time damage. And I wonder if Baxcalibur is faster, right? Let me see your speed. That's close to Brute Bonnet's speed. You might be faster than me. I'm, I hope not, right? But yeah, I'm just going to go for another Jet Punch. And then a nice super crash. The Jet Punch comes in hot here. Doing like no damage. Are you Rocky Helmet? You are not. And we outspeed you. So Ice will crash my KO. 
Oh, yes, sir. Yo, Baxcalibur was the right call. I can't believe we won that match. I thought we were in a hole once that Deli Bird and Flutterman came out there. Shark didn't work on me, but once I terrestrialized that Baxcalibur, the whole match changed. Final match coming at you guys, and we are playing out of our minds right now. We're going up against a T-Tar Sandstorm team with Sandrush, Houndstone, Garchomp, Pelipper, which is a little weird, and then they got Arbalava and Magnezone. A little scared of this. No Paradox Pokemon, but those are always the scary teams. We definitely need to bring in Pelipper in case they want to go into Sandstorm. I might bring in Palafin again because Palafin is just him. And then we kind of go from there. I do like Baxcalibur here as well. Baxcalibur was definitely MVP in the last match. Definitely MVP. But so far, MVP on the day. I think it's got to be Palafin, right? Palafin's ripping. It's ripping. Same thing with Baxcalibur. Love both of them. But yeah, I'm going to bring Palafin again. I think I'm just going to go Palafin. I'm going to go in with Fake Out. Uh... With my fake out iron hands and i'm gonna bring pelipper and last but not least i think back sees the call right the ice moves are very strong first turn priority with it we're just not gonna use dragonite today i used dragonite plenty of times before so it's all good it's all good but yo your boys got you yo two and oh those first two matches were absolutely amazing hopefully you guys did enjoy them hopefully you guys did enjoy the good plays because sometimes i play good sometimes i play bad because i feel like yesterday yesterday's video i didn't play too good and now today i'm just on a tear I'm on a tear. But yo, look at that Cyclozar's face. <laughs> Did you see that in the picture? That's just too funny. That's too funny. So Houndstone and T-Tar come out here. This should just be an easy hard swap for my Palafin into uh, Pelipper. And then we can fake out the T-Tar here as well. So I'm all about that. It seems like just a simple play. A simple play. So they're going to lead weather. We're just going to take it away right away. And then just fake out the T-Tar because we don't, we don't want to get a turn. We do not want you to get a turn. I actually could have just faked out the T-Tar. Which maybe would have been a better play. Not faked out. Close combat, I meant. I probably should have done that instead of just faking it out. T-Tar just protects. Okay, so smart call. wonder what Houndstone's doing here. What are you doing, Houndstone? What are you doing, Houndstone? Houndstone, my man. What you what you, what you you working on there? A will o -us. That ain't right. That ain't, that ain't cool at all. That ain't cool at all. I'm still close combating this T-Tar. I'm not playing around. I'm going to go for a Hydro Pump into the Hound soon. Because I don't think T-Tar is going to Terrasilize now that we're burned. We're Hydro Pumping in the side. I'm going for that close combat. If you don't Terrasilize, this could still KO. Four times super effective. He just withdraws T-Tar. Yeah, you better. You better. You better. Who are you going to go into here? Chomp? The Magnezone comes out of here. A little bit of Magnezone action. Hydro Pump does connect, which is big time. Maybe I should have Tailwind. Would've been big, but that was a big time turn from us. And Psychic Fang's coming hot here. Oh! Even the Psychic Fang's got chill on me. Houndstone is orbed. And Close Combat's gonna fly. The Close Combat's still doing half HP. I like that. And then from here, I think we definitely set up Tailwind. I think we definitely set up Tailwind. Is that a Jack Pack? What is that? Weakness Policy. Wow, that's a little scary. Okay. So we do have Focus Ash on Pelipper. I feel like Tailwind's an absolute must for us to kind of do right now. So I'm going to do it. So I'm going to do that. And if I can land another one of these, I would like to. Because Houndstone's just going to die to uh, Life Orb damage here. So what I think happens is, I think Houndstone takes out my Iron Hands. I think Magnezone goes after Pelipper and Trigger Sash. And we get off Tailwind. We will get off Tailwind regardless of the plays here. So that's a big time for us. Ally Switch comes in here. That's fine. That's actually a really good Ally Switch. And Tailwind's going to pop here. So now we're getting us some speed. Now we're getting after it. Houndstone's not going to die. Coach Comet's going to come out here. And I wonder if he's going to ally switch again. That's the real question. And a Thunder Flash through here. That's terrifying in the rain. So we sash up. Um, what, what should I do here? I think I got to like close combat, right? I think I got to go into like a Hydro Pump. Into this slot and a close combat into the other. Or no, vice versa, vice versa. So in case he wants to... In case he wants to ally switch. And then if he doesn't ally switch, he just dies to life orb damage. So yeah, I can I can get down with this. I can get down with this. So we got Hydro Pump going into Magnezone. Close Combat going into Houndstone. If he decides to ally switch, it will switch up and that will work fine for us. If he doesn't, the Hydro Pump will still KO the Magnezone. And life orb damage will take out the Houndstone. And then we got... Okay, you're just going to withdraw. That's fine. That's fine. So you're taking a Close Combat. This is T-Tar? Oh... Oh, please and thank you. Please and thank you. Please and thank you. 
Mag oh, that's totally fine. I like this turn. This might still KO the Titar. Four times super effective. It did half damage over on the Magnet Zone. Wow, let's burn. Oh, thank you for the swap. Thank you for the swap. So Pelper's gonna go out here, but you, you are gonna get some weather. But I still dump on you. Like I said, close combat just rips Titar. It's the Titar killer. See you later. See you later. That's big time for us. Because Houndstone I could take out with a first turn priority move, no problem. Um, Magnet Zone is a little scary. But well, who do I go into from here? I think I have to save my Palafin. I think Bex Calibur is that fun to play. Correct? A little bit of Baxi action. Because I could Glaive Rush that thing if I want to. Could definitely Glaive Rush it. Yeah, I'm going to save my Palafin. Palafin's going to be good for, for later usage. So I'm going to bring out my Bex Calibur here. A little bit of Baxi action. And Houndstone's going to fly out here. What I'm thinking of doing is just... Do I Trash Slice? I don't, I don't really think Trash Slice helps us. I'm thinking of just getting rid of you, right? I mean, Ice Shard is definitely going to play. Let's just get rid of you with Ice Shard. And then go for a Close Combat KO with the Magnet Zone. I like that. Because I don't want Lance Respects coming out of here. Doing some big damage. And more importantly, I don't want him to burn me. But I do have Thermal Exchange. I do have Thermal Exchange. But yo, Bax Calibur is where it's at, yo. He's the man. He, he's so good. He is so good. I love using it. I absolutely love using this Pokemon. Close combat fights. Wow, you outspeed. That's game set match. That's no problem, game set match. We're not even going to Tarasalize here. And I think Bax Calibur with this match right here just took over MVP for today's video. Wow, we're going to grab ourselves an easy 3 0 record. I wouldn't say easy, actually, because those first two battles our opponents were so good. We just outplayed them by, by a smidge. By a smidge. Both those battles came down to the last turn and everything. This one we're, we're dominating and we're doing really well. We're kind of just controlling the battle. But they, this team didn't have any Paradox Pokemon, which is weird. Garchomp's going to be the final Pokemon. They do have Terra. We have speed right now. So I think I just actually Terrasalize myself and go into that and then just close combat. And if you want Terrasalize in the ground, it's going to be game because I could just Jet Punch you. I could just Jet Punch you later. But so I'm, I'm going to Terrasalize back Scalibur into Poison. Was it? Ah, actually, it wasn't the best call because ground's super effective. But I, I see that thing going for potentially Dragon Move, right? We'll see. No Garchomp protects. The Chomp protects, so EQ is actually going to be good. Do we have another turn left in Tailwind? If not, I'm going to have to Ice Shard that thing. I am indeed going to have to Ice Shard that. Close Combat Flying. Gets blocked. And this Tailwind end? Tailwind might end here. Excalibur's going to take Buffett. This thing probably has Sand Veil, too. Probably a Sand Veil Pokemon. Iron Hands does go out. Okay. We have my lovely Palafin. Tailwind is gone. Okay, so Ice Shard's going to be our friend and Jet Punches. First turn priority all day. And Palafin has 207 HP. That's a lie. I don't think you're KOing my Palafin in one shot. Unless you have a super effective move. Which most likely you do not. So Ice Shard's going to come through here. I'm going to Jet Punch here as well. I do like this. And we're probably going to see a Terra here. I wonder what type. It's got to be ground, right? You got to be going for big time EQs. Got to be that ground type. Right? Might be the worst typing for us right now. We actually might lose this match. Once I start talking about how, how we have this match unlocked, we're gonna lose it. We are going to lose this match. EQ EQ's gonna take out my back caliber. We gotta crit with that. Stomping catch. Okay, so you go for stomping catch instead of EQ. And you're able to eat that. Okay, that that might have just helped us out tremendously. So another ice shard. He, he's definitely gonna protect this turn. He's definitely protecting this turn. And I guess we'll go for a Jet Punch. He's going to protect this turn just so... Max Calibur dies out. But Sandstorm might end. Which could help us out. I should check the turns. This match coming down to it. It's coming down to it. If you had EQ, I'm surprised this thing didn't have EQ. If you had EQ, that's a, that's a win, right? Come on, hopefully you win this one. I was talking up work like we won this match already. But this one's coming down to the wire as well. I feel like I get ahead of myself sometimes. I really do. But let's see what Chomsky wants to do here. Chomsky's scaring me. Again, first our priority is our friend, because Garchomp, I think, outspeeds us. And there's that protect. Smart call by him. And hopefully Tailwind just ends. Or not Tailwind. Sandstorm, which I think it should, unless you had that rock. But we can't afford to take a Buffett here. Ice Shard, Jet Punch, both getting blocked. 
and show me Tailwind ends. Or not, not Tailwind, Sandstorm. Yeah, and there it is. Sandstorm's gone, so that Protect didn't really do anything. So, again, we're just going to Ice Shard here. Yeah, or I can... Should I go for Glade Rush? I'm going to go for Glade Rush. I'm going to say screw it. I'm going to say screw it. Go for the Glade Rush action. Chop might go for, like, a Rock Slide or something. Hmm. Maybe we should have Ice Shard. Just get off as much damage as we possibly can. Yeah, it definitely would have been a bit better. But I'm going for Glaive Rush. I'm saying screw it. Jet Punch flying through here. Getting off some nice damage. We do like that. Wave Crash, I think, should be able to KO. And Dragon Call is going to fly here. And yo, the Glaive Rush was, the, was a good call. The Glaive Rush was a great call. And that's going to be game set match. See you later. Max Caliber. MVP. No problem. He's MVP. But that last match definitely, definitely caught me off guard. Got a little scared at, at the end there. Thought we were going to lose it. But we go 3-0 for today's video. Not one, not two, but three victories in today's video. 3-0, and like I mentioned in the beginning, this is the team to use to push high ranks before Series 2 ends. So I'm telling you guys, rent this team right here. Go use it on the rank ladder for the last week. Learn it a little bit. And you guys could definitely push high ranks if you guys can learn this team. And it's pretty simple. Kind of just uh, grant weather control. You got Bax Caliber. You got uh, Dragonite. You got Palafin. All with first turn priority moves to help you just dominate your opponent. But guys, that's going to be it for today's video. If you did enjoy the content, don't forget to smash that like button for me. And if you're new here, click that big red subscribe button so you know when all of my videos go live. Seriously, you guys rock out. Make sure you spend some positive today. I'll catch you on the next one. Peace out, everybody.